Hey guys, it's about 10 in the morning. Uh, we're just heading out for a walk in the river valley. It's an exercise. Oliver and I are gonna head on some trails. Not too many people take, so we might not see anyone, but it uh, should be a lot of fun and good exercise. back oh what a beautiful day so nice out there sun shining and had a great walk worked up a little sweat so that's good maybe help to lose a little weight <laughs> hi i'm alejandra and i'm steven we have two boys oliver and tomas together we are the lee ferrero project discharged us but they've been going higher in the last few days we've been checking on it and taking them to public health to get his levels checked every day and they've kind of been going up and his weight hasn't been increasing so we're just trying to monitor it and uh, we're looking for a little weight gain today and the jaundice levels to be going down hopefully also because he's eating like crazy yeah, and that's, that's what they so said, right? Like, he just needs to be eating. I am <laughs> Hopefully he gets better today, because or else we'll have to go back to the hospital, put him under the... Like, oh, light therapy. The yeah, we'd rather down not down have to be in the jaundice. hospital for overnight a day or two or however long it takes. But this is, you know, a common thing with uh, babies born a little premature. Yeah. Uh, for them to have some jaundice, so... Yeah, we're just trying to get past this point and be fully healthy and growing. Hopefully. So we just got back from the doctor. Good news, uh, he has gained about 80 grams, so that's good. He's gained a little bit of weight. Uh, he was still a little yellow, a little jaundice. Uh, they did a blood test and we're just waiting for the results, but uh, we're hoping that it's gonna be a little better than it was yesterday. Hey, Ali, the boys, and Teresa have gone to the park, so I am in charge of lunch. Served. Just heading over to my church. Uh, my church is located right in the inner city and uh, there's lots of people, lots of homeless people, lots of people in need there. I probably won't do too much filming while I'm over there, if any, but I might show you a little bit of the area. I was unaware at the time, but earlier in the day there had been a shooting, so the police had a large part of the area cordoned off. So just uh, arriving back here for the night, giving out food and clothes to the homeless. A little bit crazier than normal. You know, there's a little fight. One guy with a golf club and a machete. Kind of 
broke that up and gave away all the food really, really quickly. I uh, ended up finding uh, quite a few people that OD'd uh, to help wake them up. A couple guys, we had to uh, administer some, some Narcan and yeah, so it got fairly intense there for a while. Um, the one guy had completely stopped breathing, administered some Narcan and then got a couple breaths and then no breathing. We were on the phone with 911 and they were telling us to give more Narcan and uh, we ended up giving five shots of Narcan to the one guy. And, you know, he was kind of still just barely breathing, little bits, little bits, uh, all the way up until EMS got there. It was a uh, little touch and go there for a bit. So we're headed off to my parents' farm for the weekend, and we're packed in like sardines very tight. <laughs> this car was not made for two car seats and three adults. Te amo, Oliver. Te amo, Steven. Te amo, Teresa. Te amo, Thomas. Te amo, Thomas. showing you going 110 the speed limit but it didn't that's not how fast you were just going a second ago you went just a little faster than the usual just 140 oh yeah just a little over no problem you weren't exaggerating it's just 30 30 kilometers above the speed limit right yeah it's 110 yeah. <laughs> but I noticed I slowed down. Just have a lead foot. relaxation at the farm.
like and subscribe. It helps us a lot. And if you want to see our videos continue, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. See you next week. Yeah.